Ecomedia was looking for a very public place to install a solar demonstration project here in the city of Long Beach and uh, they looked at a number of different possibilities and they, the city and Ecomedia decided that the airport was probably the best location to get the most exposure to the widest number of people. Because this is very unique. This is, this is a little bit outside of the box. Well, actually it's a lot outside of the box uh, for, because we're still on the cusp of solar and alternative energies from the municipal standpoint. But I think the thing that's great about this is that when you have this kind of top-down push to get it done and to do it, don't talk about it, don't, you know, a lot of times people say green and they give you a pamphlet. Well, how green is that? I mean, they want tangible projects. From my perspective, it turned a very industrial looking, kind of ugly corner of the airport into something that is bright and cheery and educational. And um, when I walk through the area and see people standing around waiting for their bags, reading all of the sign panels that describe the project, it's really exciting. Yeah, the, the uh, solar energy system is uh, on dual access trackers. And what that means is, is they'll literally track the sun as it moves across the sky from east to west and they'll also move, um, as, as far as the latitude's concerned, as if the, when the sun is high in the sky in the summer, they'll be facing more toward the, the midday sun. And during the winter, they'll be tracking the sun where it's lower in the sky and obviously be a bit more perpendicular to the earth. Um, they are the most efficient tracking systems um, uh, that are made in the United States. And, uh, and then to put on the solar modules that are bifacial, that retrieve the sun's energy from both front and from behind, grabbing all the diffuse radiation that's available uh, around us. Um, it, it makes for a very uh, unique story to tell uh, with the technology that we've uh, embraced on this job. It's, it's, a, it's a great project. It's, it's a very attractive project. It's, it's visually appealing. The panels pivot uh, throughout the course of the day and they rack back and forth based on what season it is. And, and at the grand opening, uh, at the kickoff, uh, that morning we'd had, a, we'd had some marine layer. And all the panels were sort of uh, in, in an inactive mode. And about halfway through during all the speeches and the mayor of Long Beach and the president of the Edison Company and all the sponsors of the, of the project, about halfway through that, the sun burst through the clouds and all of a sudden, all of the panels, just like water, synchronized water ballet, they just articulated back exactly to where they had to be to maximize the sun. And so a system like this that, that tracks the sun during the course of the day from east to west and then optimizes based on the, the, uh, the season in the winter, the panels are, are very upright and in the summer they rack back to get that summer sun. Uh, can pick up 25, 30, 35% more power than just panels that are static. A lot of comments had to do with the weirdness. Uh, just, these are strange. You know, what is this? What are you doing? Why? Do they really move? Uh, can I see them move? Uh, and the answer to the can I see them move is not much during the day, although they're constantly repositioning all day long. When you see them move, is about eight or nine o'clock at night when they reset for morning. Almost as important as the solar system is the interpretive, you know, the signage that goes with it. And in that regard, this environmental marketing company called Ecomedia uh, out of New York, I mean, they were all over it. And you'll see these bright, these bright yellow signs. It's pretty hard to miss the fact that there's something going on with the sun at the Long Beach airport. You know, a company like mine realizes that wherever we go, you've got to find these people that, that get it, that, you know, they're passionate, and they also understand what the rules are and how to most uh, expeditiously work with the rules to get the job done. We would never have gotten this job done at the Long Beach Airport if it hadn't been for those individuals. Long Beach uh, was fortunate enough that they had the leadership with their mayor, and with city officials and, and, and they also had the platform of having this great 
uh, municipal airport uh, to demonstrate to the community and to the visitors of this great city uh, that solar is on the forefront of their minds. Roy, you know, I think there's probably times in his, the, the solitude of his office, he was like, why did I get involved with this? But then the other side of it, very committed from, the, from day one, um, whatever they need. I know sometimes he's thinking bottom line, which any owner would, but the bottom line is he said, whatever they need, get it. And I also don't believe a no is in Roy's vocabulary. You know, we had to cut through a lot of red tape um, and uh, the good news was is we had the city of Long Beach on our side because the deadlines we had to meet were their deadlines. The project that's behind me is um, a, a very unique solar installation that's not been done to the best of my knowledge in this kind of a setting and now what we've done is from cradle to grave we have a template so if somebody else wants to do it all they need to do is contact us and I'll share every piece of information I have related to it so that they can do it commitment, a strong team, expertise, you have to have expertise, and then you have to have, in my case, it was me, someone that stands back and says, we got to get this done by this time, we got to get this done by this time, and there's no such thing really, I know it sounds clear, there's no such thing as not, you know. And quite frankly, I'd say when people were going back and forth, they'd say, well, then you could tell the mayor, tell the mayor no. And our mayor wouldn't accept no. And mind you, a project like this uh, could have easily have taken six months uh, to a year uh, to ramrod through in, in this high security environment and uh, with Tom's assistance and Ted and of course all of the SunTrek team behind it uh, we were able to get this done in, in less than 60 days. It was a great, a great team effort and we had a great party at the end of the at the end of it after the after the, uh, the kickoff celebration and everybody just got to really thank one another for hard work. Yeah, the objective of this project was to send a message to the local community at Long Beach as well as to all the visitors that come into Long Beach that we are a green community. What's great about this, it's starting a dialogue with people as to, oh, you mean you can do solar and it doesn't have to be on a roof? Oh, you can do solar but it's not going to take up all my parking spaces? Yeah, I think, I think there's two holdbacks to, to uh, solar deployment. Uh, one is a lack of awareness, and especially a lack of awareness of the economics of solar. People all know that it costs a lot, but they don't really, they don't really understand that it's a strategic investment that will pay out even you know, much more over time. It's much like investing your money. And when you look at gas prices and our fuel prices and things like that, it's, I think everyone finally gets it, that we have got to figure out a way to come up with uh, producing energy in, a, in a, a less expensive format and a cleaner format. Cleaner is as important. I, I find it very gratifying that people do take the time to stop and, and read and learn about it. Um, for people that are hesitant, I would say it's definitely worth looking into. Um, I don't see oil prices going down very much in the foreseeable future and, and even if they do, Renewable resources like solar and wind are, are really the long-term way to go. It's the direction we have to go.